Hey, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to a new episode of Brothers in Arms. I think actually we've made it to episode number 20, which is a little bit of a milestone. Nice one. Um, we're going to start off today by playing with our Danish squad with the likes of Paulson, Man of the Match, Ericsson, and of course my two loud drop brothers. If you could smash a like on this series, that would be absolutely epic. Let's try and hit 1500 or 2000 likes. I really appreciate it. We go into our first game and we get matched up against a full Welsh squad with the likes of the inform Aaron Ramsey from this week's team of the week which is quite quite topical I guess quite nice we go into the match against him and the first half was quite odd we actually um, had quite a few chances on goal they weren't clear-cut chances but it was things like this where I got taken out on the edge of the box we get a little bit of a free kick but unfortunately we sort of sky it over with Christian Eriksen even though his stats are pretty goddamn amazing um, so they weren't sort of like open chances that I completely and utterly rue missing but I just feel like maybe I should have done a little bit more like we go into the half-time break shortly and the game's sort of still nil-nil this is probably the biggest chance of the half for me getting clear through with Brian Loudrop taking the shot or Michael Loudrop should I say but forcing a good save out of the goalkeeper as you can see um, pretty even game not too bad on the shots for us but still better accurate uh, possession for my opponent and then uh, 62nd minute this guy's running through with his uh, striker and I'm just sort of like all over the place with my defenders he wallops it into the back of the net and we go 1-0 down and well, it didn't really get any better, really. Uh, he had one more shot on the on the goal, but I didn't really create anything else. And we end up losing the game 1-0, where I actually thought I was going to win. So that was a little bit frustrating. So what we've got to do is shoot for safety all nine players that are in my squad right now. We hit Ericsson, who's, of course, the main man. We hit Bentner, which actually means we saved Paulson, because we replaced Bentner with Paulson. We then hit Camper, and I decided to go for Aga and Akore next, because they're probably the next two in most important players. Uh, I figured I'd save Thigson as well, who is the CDM. And we got three shots left in order to hit the top three players. Our goalkeeper is more important than the two wing backs, but we do in fact hit both of those guys with our last two shots. We literally just hit uh, the bottom corner of our right back right there. So that was a little bit dodgy, but we keep everyone and we don't lose out any players on there, which is quite good. Uh, we move over and this is your hybrid so far. I'm so far off completing it. I think I've got to get five players in order to, to complete this five game challenge. We go into a game and we come up against this, which is a really strong looking BPL and Bundesliga sort of hybrid mix. He's missing a little bit of chemistry but we're missing quite a lot of chemistry so that evens things out quite nicely and we've of course got the two legends who can hopefully help us out he starts off quite nicely with a shot with one matter but it just sort of goes wide of the post Brian Laudrop creates something out of nothing right there but it goes wide of the post as well we then try and scoop it past to get Brian Laudrop in the box he gets taken out and we get the free kick but actually we play on and take the shot and the goalie saves it I think I'd have preferred the free kick to be honest I shouldn't have played on he then gets through with Diego Costa. I honestly thought that was a definite goal, but a good save from Sirigu nonetheless. We then, pretty much straight from that attack, we counter-attack with Brian Laudrop, take it past his, to play, uh, his defenders, and we bang it in the net. Good goal, great counter-attack, and we are 1-0 up. That's the sort of finesse and clinicalness that I love about these legends. Honestly, they can turn nothing into something, which is a positive at least. Uh, we then get through with Laudrup again, second half. I can't believe Michael didn't tap that one home. Uh, but the goalkeeper, Petr Cech, manages to catch it before he can touch it in. Uh, however, we play it through and Brian Laudrup scores his second goal of the game. Solid play between him and Griezmann. Nice pass and move play. And then he's into the box. And he ain't going to miss when he's in that position right there. This, however, did affect the way the game went. Or Yang and Muller come on for my opponent. He then blitzes past Thiago Silva, who's one of the quickest centre-backs in the game. Plays it back post. Uh, Muller sticks it in the back of the net. 2-1. However, can we push forward and get a third goal? We try to right here by rouletting it with Laudrop for the hat-trick, but a good save. And Pogba can't quite get anything on the rebound right there. Then Aubameyang finds himself in the box. My defenders are everywhere, but, well, they're everywhere but tackling Aubameyang. And he scores. It puts the game into extra time. 
which is never a good thing. <laughs> he then plays the ball from Muller. We try and t try and get the ball in co under control with Thiago Silva. It doesn't work, and Aubameyang literally powers through, scores the goal, capitalises on it. However, we then move into the box. Can we do anything? Doesn't look like it. We're getting the ball with Pogba, playing it to Laudrup. Hits the post right at the end of the game as well. And that is just frustrating because we end up losing this game 3-2. When we were 2-0 up, it was every, all it was was him bringing on Aubameyang, which completely changed his strike force. That guy on this game, man, ugh, is ridiculous. We've got short four shots to save four players that we currently have in the squad. Thiago Silva does get saved. However, we miss our second shot. That is going to prove costly. We then save Ibarbo. We've got one shot left to hit Mycon, which we fail. We lose two more players. And we basically, with one game left, we have only got two players unlocked. And we would need to unlock seven from our last game. It's pretty much sure that I'm going to fail this task. And one of you guys is going to be in to win £25 PSN or Xbox code. Which is uh, which is fine by me. But I'd love to you know, win the challenge and stuff like that. Anyway, it's the end of the episode. We've come to the end. If you could smash a like, that would be absolutely gravy, baby. Don't know why I just said that. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace.